trying very hard to project itself as a responsible and, and very, very forthcoming nation. That they are trying very hard to talk about how they're taking and helping the world in terms of COVID-19 and vaccines. And they're trying very hard. Look, certain things you don't have to explain to the people of the world. They see the results. Is China really actually trying to get to the bottom of this? One thing they did discuss. They are not. But let's see what Republican Senator from Louisiana, John Kennedy, said. Senator, do you think China is going to allow this second investigation uh, from the Keystone cops that were unable to get access the first time around? Not, not under the current approach, Brian. Uh, with respect to the origin of the, of the uh, coronavirus, Here's what I heard President Biden do today. I heard him politely ask the World Health Organization in China to get to the bottom of it, pretty pleased with sugar on top. And that's the typical Washington way. Keep trying what uh, doesn't work, and when it doesn't work again, do it some more. Uh, he's going to have to change his approach. Let's start with the uh, World Health Organization. Its president is Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus from Ethiopia. Um, Dr. Tedros hums the Chinese national anthem in the shower. Uh, he loves President Xi Jinping like the devil loves sin. If uh, President Xi told Dr. Tedros to join the Taliban, he would say, where's the line? The only way to get him to do his job is for President Biden to sit him down and say, look, Dr. Tedros, uh, the American people pay your salary. The American taxpayer puts up $900 million every two years. We're your biggest financial contributor. Uh, either do your job or we're going to withhold the money. And if that offends you, I will help you pack. With respect to China. Uh, the people of China are good people, but Dr. Chi, or, uh, President Xi uh, who runs China is a gangster. Uh, he's right out of Goodfellas. If you turn the other cheek to President Xi, he'll just stab you in the neck. Now, he will on occasion do the right thing, but only when constantly supervised and cornered like a rat. So to get him to cooperate, here's what President Biden's going to have to do. He's going to have to enlist the support of the UK, uh, Canada, Australia, maybe New Zealand, India, Japan, South Korea, and the European Union, and together we're going to have to go to Chi publicly yep. and not ask, demand, and we may have to impose sanctions. And in my opinion, President Biden's approach to be nice about it right. is uh, at best um, immeasurably naive and at worst it's just bottom of the barrel dumb in my opinion and what I, what I am excited about and intrigued about is the world seems to understand that the Wuhan virus origins which we were being told does not add up and Dr. Uh, uh, Redfield who is a former CDC director sat down with Dr. Siegel this week and he said this about what he's noticing about politics that's not just in China but is here and it's in science listen I would expect that from politicians. I would expect that from governments. I would never expect that from the scientific community. And yet, what we witnessed was the scientific community went on heavy to try to stop any open debate about the origin of this virus. He couldn't get into China to see for himself. The military whitewashed the lab and the wet market. He had big questions. No one would listen. Americans weren't listening to American, who happens to be the CDC director, speaking to the president. Now he's free to speak, and you can feel the frustration come through the screen. Senator, the rest of the world wants answers too. How do we unite this world effectively tomorrow against China? Because they seem to have compromised so much of the Western world by this thing called money and trade. Well, we, first, we've got to ask, and we've got to ask more forcefully, no disrespect, than President Biden did. The G7 put out some sort of um, a cream of wheat statement. It was, it was a total wimp fest. Uh, that's not, that, President Xi and the WHO are not going to be uh, 
intimidated by that. Look, look, what you allow is what will, will continue, and weakness invites the wolves, and we've got to be more firm. That doesn't mean that all the countries that say they will work with us will do it, because a lot of them are scared of China, and we may have to go it alone. And President Biden may decide, you know, look, to me, it's just not worth it. I want, pre I want uh, China to cooperate on, on the Green New Deal or something. But, right. but, but uh, he's not going to get it on the, uh, under the approach that he's taking right now. Uh, I have confidence that Congress can unite on this because we see one enemy, and it is China, more than even Russia. Senator Kennedy, thanks for your instant analysis tonight. Appreciate it. Thank you, Brian.